Welcome to our coding tutorial. Today, we're tackling a question that many React developers encounter. Our viewer is trying to implement a search feature using a search bar and a profile component. They want to make a GET request to a server to retrieve user information based on a username. Let's dive into the details of their challenge. Welcome back to another tech video. Today we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Guys, remember to stay a little bit crazy like me and find that resolution. Now, let's continue on. To begin, let's set up our search bar component to handle user input and make a GET request to the server. In the constructor, we will define the state to hold the user data we want to fetch including first name, last name, and email. Next, we will implement the fetch user method. This method will be triggered when the user clicks the search button. Finally, we will render the profile component and pass the fetched user data as props to display the user's information. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To perform a GET request in React, you can create a search bar component. When the search button is clicked, it triggers the fetch user function. In the fetch user function, use Axios to get user data from the server. On success, update the state with the received profile data. Finally, render an input field for the username and a button to trigger the search. Pass the profile data to the profile component. For more details on the spread operator used in the profile component, check the documentation. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To make a GET request in React using Axios, you need to define a function that fetches user data. Remember, the result is asynchronous, so you can't directly return it. Instead, save the data in the component state within the Axios callback. In your component's render method, include an input field for the username and a button to trigger the fetch user function. Display the user's profile information using the state values. And that's it guys. We've gone through the solutions and I'm hoping that it resolved your issue. If it did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.